Itor Gross Matos is a DN uh, in a 4-3 defense uh, run by Penn State. Uh, 265, six foot five, great length, um, really athletic. He definitely looks the, the part of a, a defensive end in a four-man front. So it'll be up to the Ravens to see how it, he fits in their system. I'm guessing they would try to turn him into a, more of an outside linebacker in that system, watch him drop, do things like that. Uh, he definitely shows improvement when you compare his 2018 tape to his 2019 tape. Uh, I think he's better at getting off blocks. I think he added counters. Um, this video starts off looking at him a little bit in the run game and then later on gets into him as a pass rusher. He really does seem uh, like a high ceiling type guy who in his second year, let's say, maybe third, he really begins to make an impact, make a name for himself. He feels like a Ravens player. It really just becomes a matter of transition, transitioning to a new system. Uh, taking on new responsibilities, learning them. As always, the music you hear beneath my voice is an original composition. There will be a link in the description box, and that's one way that you can help support this channel. If you like the tune, uh, the link will take you there, and you can see about downloading it if you like it. Thanks very much. We see pretty early an example here of uh, him setting the edge, him being gap sound. Uh, this is a designed B-gap run uh, where the tackle is trying to hinge him. Uh, but you see him controlling the tackle's hands here with his outside arm and working to get outside. Uh, you see the, the back cut that out. And there he is to catch him. Watch it again. Ohio State's going to try to run this stretch outside, and uh, Penn State does a good job in run defense. You see Matos there. Um, able to use his length to control that tackle and then shed him, but uh, recognizes the play, works outside. You can see his helmet, his, right, his outside arm free, clearly outside of that tackle, and there's no way that that's going to get past him. He's very, very uh, long, and in space, he makes a lot of plays in the backfield on, on uh, backs. Um, 54, again, off the ball, just blows up this guard, really, really pushes him into the, to the back. And you can see the uh, gap being closed there. But a good job getting outside. Again, using his length. You see him holding, the, uh, keeping separation there from the tackle there, keeping hands off of him. And then really, like, good timing, I think, there to get off that tackle. Not just set off the edge, but to get off that block, rather. Watch it again. I've noticed him inside or moved inside only occasionally. I don't think it's his strongest uh, position. Um, you see him here at nose, and uh, he has a tendency, we'll, we'll look at this, but he has a tendency to show his chest or give his chest um, arm straight out here to the center. Center kind of gets into him, washes him, turns him. Um, not, a, not a particularly good uh, look defensively, I, I don't think, by, the, by Penn State on first and ten there. Here's Matos right here at three tech. We'll start the video with him just getting off the ball. Watch his arms. Watch how he gives his chest or exposes his chest to these linemen here. Um, the guard comes off the ball, sort of gets his outside shoulder and blows him back off the ball. Um, so much so that he can then get outside of him and turn him inside out. So he's giving his chest up here at the line of scrimmage and getting worked as a result. Watch it again. You'd like to see him shoot his hands first. Uh, this is 2018 versus Iowa. Watch his um, arms, and he's got this tremendous length too. Watch his arms uh, relative to the, the other D linemen when they shoot their arms. See, he's still still kind of advancing towards the line of scrimmage. Does get his arms off quicker, but he's got that great length. He's also a little bit a little bit late off the ball, off the snap, relative to the other guys on the D-line. Just a little. Arms should be shot. You can see that right across the board here. Now, he does get into the tackle first, but he's wide with his hands. You can see him kind of reaching just a little bit, and the tackle gets underneath of him, inside of him, and just pulls him out of the way and turns him. 
watch it again. This is the same game, and uh, watch how much better he is here in terms of getting off the ball and shooting his hands early, uh, and really getting to the line of scrimmage before the guard or the tackle does. Watch him continue to work, work, work outside to set the edge here. It's really nice. Like this play quite a lot. Outside arm and helmet outside the uh, outside of the um, tackle. It's going to shed. Watch that. Just that length. And and that athleticism enables him to pull this guy down for a uh, tackle for loss. Much different when he gets his hands on the uh, uh, tackle first. Here he makes a nice play shedding the uh, tackle, but you can see he's the last guy off the ball as far as the defensive line is concerned. And these guys are already engaged across the line. He does a good job getting his hands inside here, and you can see he really discards this guy easily. Just rips down. He might even get held there at the end. You see how he gets turned a little bit? So maybe he makes a brilliant play on this anyway. Um, but I love how he gets off this block here. And he gets out after the ball carry. I do think he's held there, and that slows him. Watch how quickly he closes on the quarterback once he once he clears the tackle, once he beats him. He's a big hitter, too. Um, gets off the ball pretty well, stabs with his outside arm, gets the, the tackle off balance, and then clubs with his left arm. And even in slow motion, you can see how he eats this ground up here in a hurry. And a uh, big hit at the end. Uh, you'd almost want to see him string a uh, swim, swim here with his right hand just to make sure he's clear of that tackle. But nice burst at the end there. Watch it again. Very unclouded read here uh, with the empty set. Uh, second down at 20. Long, long strides and he, he eats up ground in a hurry. You can see this tackle trying his best to keep him from getting outside. Uh, uses that length to reach out and grab the tackle's arms. He really gets the tackle to lunge here. Pulls him down just a little bit. You can see him bending outside too much. Pulls him around and uh, beats him inside ultimately here. There's that swim. There's that overhand swim. See that? Bam. Watch it again. He's really dangerous when he gets these one-on-one -on -one matchups in the, uh, the unclouded clouded read here, this second and six, but with nobody uh, in the backfield. And I love what he does here, this set outside, uh, or this working outside to make the tackle over set. And then watch his, his outside arm swat from behind. Watch real closely the uh, tackle's outside arm. Watch it get swatted away there. Both arms swat at the same time. Uh, real successful hitting, getting both arms off of him. Bam. He closes, he makes a play on the quarterback. Watch that again. Once he's sure this back goes away on third down, you're going to see a violent rip with his inside hand there. And get free and close on the quarterback. Uh, watch it slow down a little bit. Back goes away. Uses his length there and extends to keep that tackle away. Got his hand inside. You see that violent rip down? We see a uh, real powerful strike here, him having the ability to jolt a uh, tackle backward and control him with that length. And then really that instinct to kind of uh, string together this strong rip. So he's really controlling him here. You can see he's got him uh, backpedaling and off balance. And rips down, rips, dips his shoulder. That's a nice shoulder dip to get under him there. Uh, and just the ball comes out quickly. This is him at three tech over a guard. And um, there are times where I'll see him beat a guard or a lineman. And he'll get clear, but he'll just need to add one more move to make his path to the quarterback uh, clearer. You can see he's clear here. He's just got to get this arm off of him. And I'd like to see him add a, a, an upward rip there. Uh, you can see him try to run through that guy's arm. And it gives the, uh, gives the um, 
guard, in this case, an opportunity to run him past this quarterback. Quarterback just steps up a little. It's still impressive. Look at his <laughs> look at his length there. He's able to kind of reach with one arm and uh, yank the quarterback down. So that's impressive. But but right at the end here, when he's clear, you want him to you want to see him add one more move to get once he's clear to get that arm off of him. 